The promise and perils of technology today are more consequential than ever, and our responsibility for making the right choices has never been more profound. At TRI, we hope to develop technology harmonious with people's everyday lives, technology that marries the highest potential of both human and machine to bring forward a world with less conflict and more opportunity for everyone to lead deeply happy and meaningful lives. TRI is a place that is working on some of the most challenging problems that are facing humankind today. And this ranges from climate change all the way to world peace. We honestly feel here that with some key technological breakthroughs, that we can help to drastically reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that's emitted into the atmosphere in a way that is affordable. And on the other hand, that we can help with understanding and predicting what human beings do to tremendously advance the way they interact with each other. At the company level, there's just a philosophy of what is the impact we can have on humanity? And really, I think Toyota thinks at that scale. And our mission has really stayed very centered in the sense of human amplification. How do we use AI to amplify humans and not replace them? Toyota has this really aspirational goal of producing happiness for all. The researchers that we've brought on to work on this amazing mission with us, which is to create human and AI technology that can actually improve the collective well-being for people, but also our planet. It's a really big charter and an ambitious goal. And the team really believes that the people that work on this also feel inspired by this mission. It's really important that TRI keep itself at the frontier so that we have the potential to discover the breakthrough that will lead to some kind of leap, either in a capability that Toyota has or in a new market of other products. One of them, as an example, is the robotics field. Robotic technology can be used to amplify many parts of human life, whether it's assisting people who maybe have lost the ability to perform certain tasks or to be giving them a service, to be helping them around the home to do things that they no longer want to do. But we still need to develop the robotic capabilities to do this. We feel like robotics has the potential to be a major contributor to the solution to this challenge. Another area of intense focus for TRI is energy and materials field. The work we do in the Energy and Materials Division is important to me because we're really trying to solve one of the grand challenges of our time, which is how are we going to move people around without relying on fossil fuels. Within the Energy and Materials team, there's incredible research taking place at different size scales and different time scales. So we have incredible researchers that are working on innovative solutions to find new materials that can be critical in helping battery technology become more widespread. TRI's machine learning team grew out of our need to build AI systems to perceive the world. Principle-centric AI is how I describe our approach to machine learning. Machine learning is very data-centric, which is what is the best data and how much can I get to teach the machine through example. You tell the machine what it should learn from those examples, the supervision, and then you have that scaled enough that it's gonna work well in new conditions but in the physical world, you have limits. So experience gets compressed into principles, and these principles, we can distill it, and all that is how we learn as humans, and it's missing from machine learning today. Humans are so much more complex, and so we need to have something else than just data, than just equations. We need something in there, which is this principles, this distilled form of experience. Human interactive driving is about making driving both more safe and more fun at the same time. Uh, what we are trying to do is really marry more traditional robotics techniques, things like model predictive control, image detection, uh, with sort of more data-driven learning-based techniques. So trying to meld the best of sort of the newer techniques in machine learning with some of our more traditional techniques in robotics to get the best outcome. We can envision a new style of interaction of AI and, and, and vehicles so that we can keep the human empowered in a car, but while keeping a very high driver engagement, while using all the tools of robotics and AI and automated driving of perception, prediction, and planning to make people better drivers, to make cars safer, and to improve the driving experience. The human-centered AI team, using these techniques of machine learning and AI, but applying them to problems that really have to do with human beings. The HCAI Research Division is a 
multidisciplinary group of researchers that come from the backgrounds of behavioral science, machine learning, and human-computer interaction. And we believe that these are all really important contributions to human-centered AI. I think that the kind of work that we're doing here at TRI, which is fundamentally human-focused, it's using AI techniques applied to human beings in many different contexts. We use real science, real technology at the highest state of the art in order to try to make breakthroughs in those fields. And I think we have a pretty decent chance of doing so.